Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where we had a little bit of a dream last night uh, and I'm guessing that might be something to do with this mythical dream. I don't know whether we just need to keep sleeping and then eventually something will happen or whether something will happen around the town today. No idea. Can't remember. How to be a farmer with Jeff Smith. Alright, so. Other ways beside farming to make money. Fishing and mining. You heard me right, no farming. My neighbour, Jesse, isn't much of a farmer, but he's done fine for himself fishing, I tell you. Making the big bucks, that one. You do need a fishing rod, though. You can also catch bugs if you've got one of those bug necks, or you can always do what I do. Gathering. Go out there, pick up mushrooms, flowers, whatever's growing. Free money, right there. Yeah, I've been doing all of those. Except fishing, I haven't done any fishing yet. Okay, weather is going to be sunny. Okay. Animal channel. Welcome to Animalia. Hello viewers, welcome to Animalia. My name is Paul and I'm Anne. We're a husband and wife duo who loves animals. We moved to Coral Island to document the amazing fauna that lives on this amazing island. Together with our daughter Zoe, we want to show you just how wonderful the critters of this island are. We're here in the forest trying to get some footage of an amazing bird called the Sendrawlish, also known as the bird of paradise. The name of the bird of paradise comes from Anne, do you hear that? Over there, Anne. This is the magnificent Kendro uh, Kendroish see <laughs> Gwent Sendrawasi, I think it's trying to say. Sendrawasi. Also known as the bird of paradise. Why is it called the bird of paradise, Anne? That's because these birds can only be found on islands like Coral Island. Would you agree that this island is a paradise too? Definitely, and because of how beautiful they are, local legends thought these birds were the messengers of the goddess. Stupid humans, no one cares about a pretty bird. Where's the footage of the wooded, wooded bighorn? Hmm, what's this? Ha ha ha! Wait a minute, that's not the wooded bighorn. Paul! Thanks for watching everyone, and remember, take nothing but pictures. Leave nothing but footprints. I keep nothing but memories. See you next time. I wonder if he's a little bit Steve Owen based. I'm not sure. That would be a cute tribute. Okay, so. My mailbox. Oi! I need to make more of those scarecrows, clearly. I'm glad to hear the rumours about a new farmer in Starlet Town are true. You've been doing excellent work in the fields. Give this fertiliser a try. Apply it to tilled soil, it'll increase your chances of harvesting higher quality crops, which will fetch more coins when it's time to sell. Jeff, Farmer Skills. PSA, the lab is seeking a capable diver to assist with our work. All candidates must complete a compatibility check on site. Visit the diving pier to apply. Yay! Human, afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. This means human must come visit me. Understand, you will, after meet. How to heal island. Left of your farm, my home. If confused, look at drawing I share. Meet the chieftain, left of your farm. Okay, well this, this I'm interested in. Mm, I should water my crops. I definitely do need to pop another scarecrow down though, because... It's just annoying, because it's just a really irritating... Pattern. Sorry, my dinner was stuck in my throat for a second there. Something left over from my dinner was just like irritating my throat, I think. Because I have just had my dinner. That was a yummy mashed potato and corned beef meal thing. This is why I always have a drink with me. Yeah, so two of my carrots got pilfered by birds. Irritating because carrot seeds are quite expensive. But I'll try and get more scarecrows down. I uh, just. It, it would do um, a section of like two by twos or something. Like my three by threes, that scarecrow doesn't cover properly and it's just like. Because it covers that. So if I had another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there, on every intersection, it would be fine. They would cover each other. 
And maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. How many should we make? A few, maybe. Over time, that's going to cost me a lot. I need trash for every scarecrow I make, though. So maybe we can get a little bit of trash together and then go and see this chieftain. What's this? But cherry blossoms are going. Oh, does that maybe tell me where wild seeds could be gotten or something? I don't know. Eh. Uh, ah, there's a nice big trash pile. And if I take this away, then maybe the grass will just grow straight over here. I found a coffer. Hmm, nice. Apparently I can take that also to the blacksmith. So I need to go to the blacksmith today as well. And uh, see if I can upgrade any of my tools. Particularly my pickaxe. I think that'll help me get a bit further in the mines, which will help me then upgrade other things that I have. There we are. So I've got a bit of trash there. I've got 14 trash. I think I've already got a little bit. So I should do me another scarecrow. And I'll put it where the the birds seem to be grabbing things, which is right by the carrot patch. There's another bar on there. So let's make ourselves another scarecrow. And I'll slowly make more of them. My inventory is full of stuff. Oops. Okay, so that glass can go away, the trash can go away, the hay, the fibre. Um, I'll keep the turnip. I'll put some fertiliser on because it will give better quality crops. Okay. Interesting. I might just sell the turnip. Kind of in the way there, isn't it? Uh, and then I want to... Um, Head into my inventory. Let me pop that there. And then I've got wild seeds to plant. And I've got potatoes to plant. And then I can make myself in my crafting menu a scarecrow. Uh, yeah, pop that down here. Or here, maybe. I never know where to put them. That would cover a little bit. That would cover four. That would cover more, though. That would cover the potatoes a bit more. Yeah, I think I'm going to put one there for now. And then just hope that the birds don't get things around the edge as much. And I'll try and put more scarecrows around the edge. Um... I don't know whether the watering patterns and the scarecrow patterns are going to go very well together. I'm hoping that eventually I'll get an upgraded scarecrow that will cover a bit more ground and then I won't have to make as many of them. They are all watered. Right now, let's go and find this chieftain fellow. To the left of my farm, apparently. So it'll be over this way, I guess. Going left. Okay. Well, there's, there's an oil spill in there. There's a root. And also maybe this is left. Uh, yeah, I think we I think we went the right way. Okay. So, how to heal the island? What is this all about then? Who men? Where did you go, Chieftain? I am here! I, Chieftain, thank you, human, to come here. You're a... What are you? Who? I, Chieftain, is giant. For long waited I have for you. I learned how to speak from Yoda. Come this way, look here. Seen you have these writings, but understand you do not. See you not power of shrines, but see you must. Key they are to help goddess. Help goddess and sickness gone. Time now for ceremony. Ba! 
last we must do. Hurt only a little, but open your eyes, Will. Starting in five, four, three. Now! You need to learn to count. Okay, is it yellow, a blue, a green? Oh, are these all the the mines? Because we, we've opened the earth shaft. Maybe we've got to open all the shafts. See? Done so fast. Awakened you have to power of nature. Goom goom. Goddess who? That goddess must answer. Not come from me. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. Okay, we can meet the goddess. Nice. Speak no more. Rest now. I'm, I must, after ceremony. Again, will I speak to you, human? Not now. Later. Goombye. Goombye. You've unlocked the third eye. You're now able to read and understand the language of old. Nice. Meet the goddess at the lake temple. Let's go to the lake temple then, I guess. Blacksmith isn't very far away from there, I don't think. I really could do with clearing these paths. <laughs> that would be good. That would be very good. I thought that the birds had stolen a, a crop again, but they haven't. Uh, just only had like eight potato seeds. That was my quest reward. See, if the copper watering can does a two by two, then I'll know that that's kind of how they intend you to lay things out. But uh, they never tell you these things before you start laying out your farm. They just let you do it. And then all of a sudden it's like, but you also have to do this. It's like, oh, okay. I wonder if I can hoe that up. I can. Wild seeds. Oh, right. That's what that is. Okay. No tasks at the moment. So I didn't take that cauliflower task. I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, but that's okay. I am um, going to the lake. They're going to go up here, maybe, to the lake, don't I? I also need to learn to dive today. So, like, everything is just all of a sudden coming together. It's like, ah, oh, there's all such, all these things to do. Ah. Take off your boots and be one with nature. You're telling me to touch grass. Take a deep breath. I think this is the goddess's lake, but I've got to find out how to get across it. Uh, I think I can go across these stepping stones. I think I can go down here. And run across. And then this is where the lake temple is. Hello, goddess. She laughed at last, but my time is short. I got teleported. I got teleported away. The altars, they hold the key to rejuvenate my strength and heal the land. Okay, are they a bit like, um, each one of them will be like, a, I've got to donate things to it or something. Begin with an offering at this altar. In return, receive my blessing to traverse shrines. It will aid you, jerk. Okay, well, I got cut off. You can offer certain items to a temple to help heal coral islands. 
Complete a temple offering. So I don't think... I don't understand what it says. That I can donate anything to the other altars. I think it's only one at a time. So it's the crop altar. Um, choose an offering to view the items required for its completion. So we've got a spring season. So wasabi, moral, turnip, carrot, and daisy. Okay, I've got loads of carrots growing, but we could do with maybe getting some daisy and turnip seeds and growing those. And then get the moral and wasabi. I've got plenty of time still in the spring, hopefully, to pick those up and bring them over. I have been selling them so far. Essential resources. Stone, 10. Oh, I only need to do five of them. Okay. Is that the same with the... But there are only five of those. Summer season. I won't be able to do that yet. Fall season. I won't be able to do that yet. Winter season. One, two, three, four, five. And ocean loot. Sea salt, scallop, eastern oyster, blue mussel, and green sea urchin. Okay. Cool. So that's our first year's... And that will unlock the greenhouse. That's our first year's one. Um, let's see. Can we do anything else? No. 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 So it looks like I won't be able to do to finish this off until like the first of winter, which is kind of I think where I got to with the previous place where I got to the first, sort of first day of winter uh, of the first year, and that was that was it. And then I was going to play through as they updated. I was going to play the second year through as they did updates, but then life got in the way and it got all very crazy, and I didn't manage it. But you know, now it means we get to just a full playthrough knowing everything's in the game, which is quite nice. Right, so... I think I need to come back with a few things, don't I? So, um, I can come back with wood, stone, fibre, sap. But I don't know if I've got any of the others. So, wood, stone, fibre, sap. And any of those that I've got, I don't know. I don't know if I've got any of those or if I can maybe find them on the way or something, but I can definitely bring some of the essential stone things over. And then we can have a look at... Um... Oh, actually, it said I could use altars to travel now, didn't it? So can I... Is this one? Is this a travel altar? Okay, offer the best will help the nature. Thus nature will help your travel. Oh... So do I have to finish that before I can get the fast travel? You wonder what these swirling flowers are. So it looks like I do have to still run at the moment. That's fine. So I'll run back to my house. I'll go and grab all of the bits that I think I can add to that. And we'll look for the bits we can't. Okay, well, maybe I did need ground bait for that one. <laughs> Not worrying too much about it at the moment. We're only a few days in. And if there's spring things, I, I think this is meant to last more than one year. So I'll just catch what I can in the first year, in the first seasons. And then we'll get really serious about it in year two. But hopefully by then I'll have gotten quite a few things in the museum already. Get back to my box of tricks. It's gone a bit late though, hasn't it? We haven't managed to go to the blacksmiths today, but lots of story stuff happened, so I'm going to forgive myself for that one. It's not every day that all this story stuff happens. So I'm definitely going to want to plant some more daisies and turnips. Um, 100% gonna want to do that. And let's have a little look at my box of tricks. So, uh, I'll probably sell that daffodil for now. Ugh, the fertilizer. I need to put the fertilizer down. So annoying. Mining. 
Can I choose a mining skill then? Mine double ores. Break surrounding rocks when mining. Or more geodes. Oof. I think rock domino would be a good start because I'm trying to get through the mines at the moment. And then maybe I would like the double ores and, ge and extra geode chances after that. We'll see. Maybe we can open them all eventually. Okay, so um, the fertilizer needs to be in my hot slots. Daffodil needs to get sold, honestly. These coffers and things need to get, and geos need to get opened up at the blacksmith. Okay, I do have an oak seed and a maple seed. Wood. Stone. I'll take that maple seed as well. I'll go sell that daffodil. Oh, I've still got a turnip in there, so that can come back. Because I think I need that. And then I'll fertilize all of this. Oh, it has to be on the seeds. Okay. I'll put it across all the seeds that I have. And then the rest can go back into my container. Right, let's head back over to the lady then. To the goddess lady. And hand those things in. good if I can try and remember what all the things are. I, I probably won't beyond this. <laughs> but that's fine. I need moral and wasabi, which I will probably find if I run around the place enough as well. But for now, why don't we just pop this in? I have so much stuff to do. Anything new going on? Nothing new going on. Just a goddess appears. You wouldn't be interested in that though. You're only interested in relics. And making the museum good, right? You wouldn't care about no goddess. Alan Allen Square. Right then, so, got a few things that I can put in this here. Well, shrine, altar, whatever you want to call it. So essential resources, I have and one maple seed. So I need to have all five of them. So I need five of either a pine cone, oak seed or maple seeds. Um, so I need to not make them into food. <laughs> I need to save them up. Okay, and spring season, I've got my one turnip, but we don't have a carrot, a daisy, a moral, or wasabi. So I will try and find those as I'm running around the place. And... I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to open this altar before I finish that one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's going to probably be full of stuff that I've sold, isn't it? Typical. I want to know what's in that altar. Owl hooting there, I think. So yeah, I think once we get back, I'll need to head to bed. Can't outrun it. Sucks. I've seen a lot of those moth things and they always, I always struggle with them. So I'm gonna have to wait until there's something that I can put down and slow them. I'm terrible at critter catching. I don't think there's any way that we can. Oh, I can sneak with shift. No, but I sneak anyway. I sneak as soon as I've got that held down, but it doesn't... Sneaking doesn't seem to slow their response to me. It might be that I can get closer without them responding or something if I sneak. It'll take a bit of practice, I think. Who's you? 
Don't go. There's so much we can pass on to our children. The little things we, the parents, do become their habits. Gosh, it takes me so long to run across town. Um, fast travel is going to be a game changer. Absolute game changer. But I got quite a few things into the goddess's uh, supply there, so I think that's really good. Um, we just need some tree seeds of some description. And that will finish the first one off. Keep my geodes, put my stone and wood back. Keep my copper bars, because I need them. That all needs to go to the blacksmiths in the morning. Okay. Uh, we could chop down some trees. I've got quite a bit of stamina still left. So I could chop, chop down some trees and see if I get some seeds out of it. And then we could finish that first thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. It's like nearly midnight. I'm going to get told off for being late to bed if I keep going. So let's go to sleep. Wow, I made a whole 12. Exciting. It's going to be like a festival tomorrow, isn't it? Um, coral shopping. A frying pan for an extortionate amount of money that I do not have yet at all. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Keeps being sunny. There is a letter in my... Oi! Pain in the butt. Oh. Well, that was also not great. Doing so well with my... With my crop growing right now. <sighs> I'll slowly make more scarecrows. And we'll get there. I want to see what's in my mail anyway. So let's have a look. We're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. There's a potluck co cookout at the festival. So make sure to bring something yummy. Arrive between nine and two. No information on like what is expected in the potluck. Are you expecting me to bring a cooked dish or are you expecting me to bring an ingredient? I have no idea. Nothing I love more than obscure information. Obscured information. Like, tell me what you want of me. Tell me what I need to do. That's cool. Don't. That's annoying. So I might want to move the scarecrows um, back by one square. It's annoying that they can't... Oh, now I've picked it up, have I? No, I haven't. It's kind of annoying that what I kind of need is almost lines, two by two lines of... Um, crops rather than three by three or even four by four with the scarecrow stood to the side or something but the way I planted is just not good for these uh, scarecrow types okay but anyway never mind let's not uh, cry over spilt milk or anything So let's head to the blacksmiths, I suppose, and see if there's anything I can do to upgrade my stuff. And then... Hmm. Oh, then we need to learn to dive. I think I already had that one. Oh no, I didn't. It's a pine sphinx. Very nice. I'll stick that in the museum then. Oh, the kids are on a field trip. Wonderful. 
I wonder if the kids count as extras. Okay, so donate item. Queen Sphinx. So I'm on 12 out of my 50. Wonderful. And when I uh, open some of my geos, I might find something else. So we'll have to see. Let's head to the uh, blacksmiths. Ah, there's my boy. Hello. Raphael! Oh! Hi there. Cleaning all the stonework on the uh, shrine there. Oh, I couldn't read this before. Maybe I can now with my third eye. Let's see. Is it supposed to look like that? It looks incomplete. Oh, okay. Well, there might be more things that I can read nowadays. I'll have a look when I'm sort of wandering around the place. But things might just open up as the story goes by, maybe, as well. So... Uh, let's go to the blacksmiths and let's process a geode or coffer. So I've got a coffer there. Uh, I've got a metal boot, which is an artifact so that can go in the museum. Earth geode, diorite gem, a marble gem, and a mystery geode, osmium ore. Wow, that's well cool. So then I've got the uh, upgrade tools. Let's see what we need to do. So I'm going to need 20 wood and I'm going to need five bronze bars for air, for all of them. Okay. Mm, we need to go up through the levels with it as well. Okay. Very good. 1,500 coins. Okay, I need to save up a little bit of money as well. Well, I'll head to the museum and stick my uh, my new bits and bobs in there that we've got. And I will carry on saving up, I guess, for a bronze pickaxe. Followed probably by a bronze watering can. I think those are the two things I want to save up for the most. Yeah, Raphael seems like a really sweet guy. So how many people do we know now? We know quite a lot, I think. So if I go to my relationship tab. There's still loads of people I don't know. That's, that's 12, 13, 14 that I don't know. But I know more than I don't know. So Anne, isn't Anne married? Why, why do they have hearts? Oh, I see. I can see that the singles have locked hearts at the top, which are probably for... Oh, so you can't date Connor then. Ah, right, I see. You can meet, you can date Raphael, Mark, Pablo, Leah, Noah. Raj. So I was saying it's great that there's some older guys that you can date, but it looks like most of them are not singles. So they're mostly married. So yeah, all the older guys are taken. Some of them are like a little bit older than others. So like Pablo and Raphael, I'm sure that Raphael is older than Pablo, for example. Oh, carpentry. Yes, let's go and have a look in here and see what's needed for the next house upgrade. Yeah, let's have a look. House style. Style one, two, three. That's cute, that's cute. Very modern. Oh, I like that one, that's cute. Okay, so you've got five different styles. I like it. Okay, so 
So, um, house upgrade. My next upgrade will include 10 bronze bars, 50 stone and 100 wood. I probably have enough stone and wood for it. So we just need to work on the bronze for that. But it, it doesn't take any money, which is quite nice. The money all goes on... Uh, the coop, the barn, the stable, the well, the mill, the silo, the fish pond, the insect house, and the shed. That is an empty building. Now that's always nice because if you've got a load of like production machines and things, having some kind of shed that you can put them in is really, really nice. So I would, I would spend money on a shed. I imagine that's what it is. It's, it's a, something you could basically make a workshop out of. I am very, very behind doing. Okay. Um, I need to go to the museum. We kind of ended up going a bit the wrong way. So I'm just going to head back to my place. And we'll go right from there. And we'll go to the museum. That was a bit of a, a bit of a round in a circle way to get to the museum. But that's what we'll do. And then we'll learn to dive. But it's pretty cool that I've got all of these little things. Um, the Osmium Ore I might need to just sort of put to one side for a bit. I don't know whether the museum wants ores at all. We'll have to see. Maybe it does. If it does, it can have one. Um, donate items. So the marble, the boot, and the diorite can definitely all go in. So we're up to 15 of 50 now. Maybe once we start diving, there'll be a few more things that I can uh, hand in. And probably if I fish, I'll get some more stuff as well. That's so annoying. Like, you have to get them, they have to turn green. And I still haven't quite like gotten the knack of it. I did say that this game had hard bug, bug hunting, and it, it does, yeah. And I don't always like the bug hunting in certain games. Uh, I think this might be one of the ones I don't like so much. Got, yeah, Ghost Mantis. Nice. Sometimes the bug ha net has a bit more reach than it looks like it does. Um... So that's another thing to remember. Hey Macy, hello to you too, I'm Macy. Did I... Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. Is Macy someone I haven't met before? Yeah, nice. Boop. Some compost there. I'm picking up so much stuff though. That gets a bit annoying when you pick up all this stuff on the way to Diving, which is where you're going to pick up more stuff. And you've got no bag space. None at all. None whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So. Let's go and talk about diving. Hello, Lynn. Nice to meet you. I assume you are Lynn of Lynn's Lab. Oh, it's Ling. Sorry. Ah, hello there. I was just looking out to sea. I saw. Ever since the oil spill, people have forgotten about the ocean. Actually, that's not true. They still remember. It's just someone else's problem now. Someone else will fix it. Their concern is enough. It's a shame because we can still some do something about it. There's still time. Plus, all the valuable kelp down there is going to waste. Ugh. Sorry to unload on you like that. Are you here because of the letter I sent? Yep. Marbles. What am I going to do if this person doesn't work out either? By the way, my name is Ling. I run the lab in town. Thanks for showing up. Here's the deal. You need a diving suit to get into the water, and I need the right someone to activate my science down there. For now, let's do an exchange. If you can activate five solar orbs in the ocean, you can keep the diving suits. Here's what a solar orb looks like. You want to bring your scythe to clear trash because the orbs are most likely buried under it. 
if you're able to activate one, and let's assume something happens, because something will, you'll have questions, I'm sure. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whatever happens, just know that the solar orbs are the key to restoring our ocean and healing the sick coral. Since I can't go into the ocean myself, you'll be accompanied by Kibble the Bot. I like Kibble. You'll learn more about how it works when you're down there. Let me know how it goes. I need to head back to my lab. Good luck, she love. Okay, time to dive. <laughs> time to dive in the water. Yeah. Okay, I've acquired a diving suit. You're now able to dive into the ocean. Dive. I want to dive. I've been wanting to dive ever since I started. Okay. So press J for details. Um, heal coral sites. Ling says the diving suit is yours to keep. Under one condition, you can heal sick coral by activating solar orbs, whatever that means. I need to complete a temple offering. Wow. And how it will restore their power. Oh, maybe if I get one of them done, that'll be good. I don't know. But we can work on the C one, maybe. So what I have to do down here is clear all the trash down in the sea. And I can also grab a bit of uh, kelp, bronze kelp, as I go. And the idea is eventually I will find um, the solar orbs and that will allow me to kind of light, light it kind of lets me open bits when I've got enough of them, I think open more of the sea up and I think it also cleans up the, the oil spills I will also pick up a lot of trash here and that will help me do things like make scarecrows which is wonderful See, I can't get through here at the moment, for example. It's easy to get lost down here. <laughs> I'm always getting lost down here. I may have some latent memory of last time and of the layout, but beyond a certain point, I won't. I've really still not found any solar orbs. Low on the old uh, stamina at the moment. So I'll just have to keep coming down here until I can find what I need. Might find a chest or something around, I don't know. Oh, I think these guys might. I might be able to eat the sea mushrooms for some stamina. Same with the jackknife clam. So if I want to, I can eat them or I can just... Not worry, I can come back up and we can do a little bit more tomorrow on it. But I'm very, very happy to be in the ocean again because I enjoy this part of the game a lot. You're going to start to realise. Right, so I do need to go and do a bit more mining as well in order to upgrade my pickaxe. So I'm going to need like another... Eight or nine, probably about seven or eight or to get that finished. My stamina is pathetic right now. Who are you? Valentina. Hello, Miss Sheila. Nice to meet you too. I'm Valentina. Give me some more compost. Okay, nice. It's nice when I get seeds from those.
I'm trying to think, do I want to go to the tavern or something and chat to people or do I just want to go to sleep? I need to take something for the potluck though, don't I? Do I have anything good? No. I sold all my stuff. So I'm going to be putting like... So maybe I could put a sea mushroom into the potluck, I don't know, I'll have to see what I can do. Um, I've also got my ghost mantis that can go into the museum. Uh, some flowers that I can sell, so let's sell those. I think I need to keep the uh, the bronze kelp. I think that's important. Compost would be important. The osmium's going to be important, definitely. How am I doing for space at the moment? Uh, actually, the bronze bars. Yeah, they can go in there. Trash. Right, now I'm going to be out of space if, if I'm not careful. So I think I'm going to make another box of my crafting. And uh, let's see. Yes, I can make another one. Nice job. I'll pop that down next to that one. So two makeshift chests and I can maybe put things like my sea mushroom and my jackknife clam in or my, my sea stuff could go in there. You can rename the chests as well and my ghost mantis can stay out. The sea mushroom counts as food so I might just take that to the potluck tomorrow and hope for the best. So yeah, I definitely think it is time to go to bed because I don't have much in the way of um, stamina left at all. But we did learn to dive today and I'm very happy with that. We made a grand total of 30 coins. <laughs> yeah! Go me. There's a festival running today. Consider checking it out. I will. Let's go check out the festival. Hi! Surya, good morning to you, Shilab. You have a great spot here. Waking up to this every day must feel amazing. It does, yeah. I heard from Ling. Gah, it feels weird calling Dr. Zhang Ling. Um, well, she insisted anyway. She said you went diving. How was it? Love it! <laughs> Heck yeah. That's so great to hear. I really do like diving. When you dive, you might come across kelps. They look like large dancing worms on the seabed. Those are kelps. Useful stuff. There are wide uh, varieties of kelps. Each has its own characteristics and benefits. The ones you probably encounter now is the bronze kelp. Looks kind of brownish. The lab can use them to upgrade your seeds and fodder. It will then increase the quality of your crops and animal products. Higher quality means higher prices too. I earn more. You need to extract the kelp's essence before bringing them to the lab though. And an extractor can help... Sorry. Can extract kelp's essence. Here's the blueprint for making it. So we can make a kelp extractor! Hey! To make an essence, you need to place 10 kelp on a glass inside the extractor. Bring 10 kelp essence to the lab and you can choose which product, sorry, produce to upgrade. How's that? Sounds good. Good luck! Yeah. That makes me feel very happy. Craft an extractor. How do we craft an extractor? Let's see what that needs. It needs 20 scrap. I don't have that much scrap. Ooh. Um, Bronze kelp, 20. I don't have that either. And 40 wood, which I do have. Okay. So I think I should maybe like try and head out to the festival. Uh, which is probably Cherry Blossom, cher uh, so 9 o'clock there's going to be the Cherry Blossom Festival over kind of by the lake there, right okay. But before that I should harvest anything that I can. I have a lettuce. Uh, uh, hello? My water has gone. At least the crows left me alone today. 
They've taken two carrots and two potatoes. No, yeah, two potatoes now. No, they didn't take two potatoes. I messed up and took one of my potatoes and they took the other one. Those turnips look awfully done, so... You know what might be quite good would be to have a bit of a run around the forest and see if I can find some wasabi and a moral mushroom um, because if I can't find those by the end of spring then I've got to wait till next spring to finish that thing. Like whereas seeds, I do need to put seeds into there but that can wait until until I'm ready. Like for example, if I chop that full tree down, will that give me a maple seed? Yes. That one needed chopping down anyway. That's the second maple seed. So maybe if I just bash these maple trees a bit. Just until I get a seed out of them. Didn't get a single seed out of that one, okay. ones I get seeds out of. So I managed to get a seed uh, out of a couple of them and we now have two. And if I can make, if I can get three, if I put in that one there, uh, then I need another two. So I'm just going to go cut down some more maple trees until I get the maple seed. I don't know if there's an indicator as to... Oh no, that was one, so I need one more. Okay. Because that would be great if I could finish that off as well, as do the cherry festival. Oh, I've, I've got a lettuce today as well, so that's nice. Yay, that's all my maple seeds I need, okay. And with all the trash I'm going to be finding on the seabed, I should easily then be able to make enough scarecrows to cover the whole thing. To the cherry festival. It's 10.30, so it should be... should be time to go across there now. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, these are really pretty. I like them. Super nice. Cherry Blossom Festival this way. Grr. Start the Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah, let's see what goes on at the Cherry Blossom Festival. Everyone sits under the cherry blossoms and they have a sack race. And... That's so pretty. Registration mini game okay let's practice oh, i see i fell over
nice, okay. I feel like I get the idea now. easy as it looks. <laughs> Okay, so I have 31 to beat. I got I came in third. I got one candy tree seed. Can I try again? to be space, isn't it? a miss is just the worst thing. Yay! I did even worse that time. You can keep going as many times as you want though. So I got my fifth place one, but I could get others if I get if I come in first, so Let's give it another try. Practice makes perfect, right? Thirty-nine, so I've take I've shaved off a bit. Need to be able to like do it on the front swing and the back swing. Like that. But I'm more likely to miss like that. Okay. I'll give it another go. I'm gonna be very quiet, okay, and I'm gonna really concentrate. Hmm. 
But the faster I'm going... Okay, 40. So that actually got worse that time. 32 has been my best one. I want to try and win if I can. do the faster the thing goes still 40 how how do I keep only managing to do that uh, I might not be a, like physically able. One thing that I've done in the past when doing things like this is use my controller. Alright then. See how it does with the controller. Might be faster than pressing space. Oh, no. Controller did nothing. Nothing was better about that. I think accuracy might be better than anything else on this. But I may I may not be able to. I didn't see how I missed then. So fast. That was terrible. I thought I was doing better that time. I was doing worse. How many times do I want to do this before I decide that I just can't do any better than I'm doing? I don't know. I don't know. A couple more. so well and then, then I just whenever I do a miss it really messes me up okay one more try and a couple more tries and just see because I feel like I'm getting the hang of it now 
This is so fast. I swear I did nothing wrong then. I'm still in third. I'm getting closer though. Kind of quite determined on this. <laughs> Sorry. Why is it that when I hit all perfect, how come I still fell over? fall over for no apparent reason when you haven't even missed I don't get that okay I came in second that's all right why do I get another round I don't get this See there, I did actually miss there, so I don't mind quite so much when I actually do miss, but there's been times where I've fallen over where I don't even think I've missed. And that feels like cheating to me, it feels like I was cheated of something. See there, I did nothing wrong there. There was no miss, but I still fell over. What's the deal with that, like? I think I have to get to second, like... I have to go through the second place. I am fed up with that mini game now, I think. You're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. My name? Hmm, my name's Oliver. Why? The kids aren't even stopping for a break. Looks like I managed to reel them into fishing. What about you? Are you fishing these days? Sometimes. When I can't be bothered. Are there any other, like, mini games? Can I do the hot pot? Can we add in here? Place item in hot pot. Now I can put in one turnip. And I can also start the main event. Well, let's have another look, a bit more of a look around. Uh, the sack racing is just horrendous. Like, that's too hard for me. Sorry. I'm never going to be able to get the thousands gold prize for that but that's okay we're not all built for speed you know <laughs> have a good old chat yeah Sheila I've been meaning to meet you my name's Millie it's so exciting to have people moving in I'm just gonna go back to my mouse and keyboard here and we'll have a chat to Lynn looks like you're having fun it's not all bad hanging out in the open air like this, is it? And uh, Judge Ross, it's always a pleasure to spend my spring here. Well, part of my spring anyway. You gave us an F. We hate you. <laughs> Walter was asking me questions about my coffee bean dealer. I'm not telling. I know what he's doing. I should have brought little Seth and he would have enjoyed this. Sing along, Shelab. Come on, you know the next part, right? Time to absorb the good bright vibes, breathe in energy, breathe out stress. Ah! The songs Thea sang really fit the mood. He's not a bad looking, I mean, not a bad singer. You've heard nothing. 
Leah likes Theo. Come over here, she loves us dance. Yeah, I would dance with you. Yuri, I better go tell Charles to calm down with the unsolicited doctor advice. He could ruin the festival for everyone. Oh, you're the new farmer. I was worried there for a bit about a potential competitor. Nothing to worry about, it seems. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure is mine. Meeting people. I did say there's way too much food, but I think it's okay once in a while. Cooking is relaxing, but it's more relaxing to sit back, eat, and look at these cherry blossoms. Today is a rest day for me. What? Wow, the potluck looks amazing. Oh, but never mind. I think I went spend way too much time at my PC. My eyes feel kind of rusty. So much good food on the table. Maybe I should calm down with the tumping and save some space for them. I saw Oliver trying to catch fish at the lake earlier this morning. I think he wanted to contribute to the potluck. So cute. Sam, Eva's croissant is getting a lot of compliments just for the looks. Maybe I should ask her to add it to the menu. Sure is pretty today. Can't ask for better potluck weather. It's Betty, I'd say. The chump packet is over there, dear. I hope it's enough for everybody. Who's that? Can I talk to you? No, not at the moment, apparently. Not while you're cooking. Fair enough, I might distract you. Zara, a new farmer in town? You moved here after the oil spill? Huh, I'm Zara. See you around. I hope they didn't strain themselves doing the sack race. You included, Farmer She Lab. I think I may have strained my thumbs. Yay, Mr. Theo is finally singing a good song. Are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer, though? Just like our wine festivals like this, the identity of Coral Island. Don't you agree, She Lab? We're still getting ready for the main event. Maybe you could contribute to the potluck before it starts. I did indeed. Contribute a little something. So I think I've chatted to most people around. I chatted to these guys. So sure, yeah. Make some load yet. Ne the next year, it's this delicious dish with coconut milk. You'll love it. Okay. More people told me they saw beavers on the lake. Thankfully, Paul bought his camera. If we're lucky, we might get a picture or two. And then Dinda, Archie, be careful with the worms. Oh, there he goes again. Anybody else I haven't have a, had a word with? I think I've had a word with most people now. Randy, ah, this is fine by me. I don't crave jewelry and all that bad. As long as Frank here grills enough apples, we're very okay. Good food, good weather, good company. Sunny is weird. <laughs> I don't know if um, Sunny maybe maybe he's deaf or something and he like has to shout all the time because he can't hear well. I don't know. I could get myself a cherry blossom plant, a pattern kotas, kotatsu chair, a shoji room divider, a wave painting, an ancient pattern vase, a cherry blossom painting, some windows, a pokyo rug, all of which I probably can't really afford. Maybe a cute chair, a Sakura farmer outfit. Oh, that's nice. a lot of nice things here but I kind of think my money should be kept more for uh, things that I need I'm thinking that this might be a good shop to go to in my like second year when I've got tons and tons of cash Are you saying hi to everybody you poor thing it sounds exhausting <laughs> you noticed did you listen she lab somebody get sometimes getting to know everybody is tiring but it's worth it you're part of this community now so when you say I'm getting to know people I'm talking to you all but it doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere so I'm possibly believing that presence might be the way forward okay so there is a love and a hate thing here all right so we've just got to learn what people like I think I'm gonna start the main event yeah we've talked to everyone now Folks, it's finally time for our main event. The soup is now ready. Big thanks for all of your contributions. Miss Ross, would you do this? Do us the honour of tasting it. Of course. Thank you, Mayor Connor. Being the judge, she can judge everything, including the cooking contest. 
This soup will reflect the unity of the town. It's time to taste what all of you together have made today. It's okay. I taste nothing special with this soup. Well, as long as it's edible, everyone can consider it a success. Yeah. We're only in year one. I've only had a few days to, like, get the farm up and running, and there's not a ton of stuff that I can put in there. I could have put, like, a gold star thing in, or maybe something like that. I don't know. That might have helped. Read the mail. Have you tried baking? It's a good stress reliever for me, and it might be good for you, too. Here's a mooncake recipe for you to bake at home. Give it a try. Good luck, Betty. Thank you. Sheila, I've seen you around the island fishing. Here's a recipe for sashimi. You can use any fish. Raphael. Oh, I got some recipes. Wonderful. Okay, I think with that, though, I am going to head to bed. We apparently suck at sack racing. That's what we've learned today. <laughs> but um, we've been diving. We've got an extractor now. We've seen the goddess. We've donated things to the goddess. We've done all sorts of cool things today and i'm really really happy with that so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome